Hello everybody, uh, my name is Steve Parks. I'm the lead aerodynamicist on the 2013 Fusion. Does everybody in here have goggles on? Mr. Cameraman, do you have some goggles on? Can I get one set? There you go, thank you. And if I could ask you all to step behind the yellow line, that's the line where the wind is gonna stop. Especially for your, I wouldn't want your camera equipment to get hurt, okay? So thanks everybody for being here. Um, you are standing in the aerodynamics and wind noise tunnel here at Ford, the wind tunnel eight. Um, this is a closed loop wind tunnel. It means the air constantly recycles. In the back, there's a 23 foot diameter fan that turns and basically blows from left to right in front of you. Uh, we can run this tunnel up to 150 miles an hour. Today we're going to be at 25 miles an hour. We typically test at 80 miles per hour, okay? I'm going to be standing in the flow. I don't stand in the flow for 80 miles an hour flow, trust me. Um, but before I get into the aerodynamics, we also do wind noise in here. When you walked in, you probably heard that it was a little dead, the sound. That's from all the acoustic paneling in here. We do a lot of wind noise. Our products are, are in, in my opinion, superlative for the wind noise response. Um, we have the uh, microphone arrays here that you can see in the tunnel. We've got the acoustic heads over there that sit in the cars and actually measure the same as, a, as an actual person would. So uh, we're doing a lot of good work there. I'm not a wind noise guy, I'm an aero guy. Okay, so I'm gonna tell you that piece of it. We start out working with the programs early. We work on proportions with the styling team. We do a lot of work early with some of the computational models or CFD models. In fact, on this program, we've done over 2 million CPU hours towards this program, which is about the same as one of you sitting at a PC for 30 years, okay? Once we get into a certain stage, we can cut a clay model, a full-size clay model. We can bring those in here and we can optimize those for the performance here in the flow stream. We've done over 450 hours on the Fusion Mondeo program here in this tunnel, and a lot of that was me. So, <laughs> so it's been a great experience, but uh, hopefully I can tip you off to some of the things that we've done on this car that have come out of that process, and just the little things, everything that we've squeezed to get the best fuel economy possible. Uh, we really start at the front of the car, and we can show you things all the way back. Starting off, I'm going to talk about the uh, active grill shutters. They're hard to see. You're not going to be able to see them, unfortunately. But what you got to picture is in front of the radiator, there's basically some, like on your window shades, there's some veins that twist open and close. We can open them for cooling. We can close them, and that takes the air that would otherwise go through there and pushes it around the car where we can control it a little bit more effectively. What we like to do it was we like to direct the air around as cleanly as possible, reduce the amount of turbulence, and I'll show you guys some of that, and especially in the back, make the airflow come back together as cleanly as possible, okay? And I'll show you that when we go back to that region. So I talked about the grill shutters. Things like this down here in the chin, right down in here, help us get the airflow over the vehicle. These splitter features right in here, again, they'll take that airflow and they'll guide it for us to reduce the amount of turbulence rather than hit it down in the, uh, into the tire or something like that. We can position, you've seen the turntable turning here. We can position these cars at any angle to the flow and the car sits on these little pads right down in here and below the floor is a giant balance which is kind of like a, oh my goodness, which is kind of like a bathroom scale and that measures the force going, pushing the car back, the drag, otherwise known as, and that drag obviously is bad for fuel economy. You want it to slip through the wind as cleanly as possible. So we minimize that force, basically. So I talked about the splitter effect. There's a small break in the surface here that we worked a lot with styling on. It's very subtle, but what it means to us is clean flow past this, this tire over here. We did a lot of work on the mirrors. We optimized these mirrors to make sure that the flow attaches the turbulence behind it is as small as possible the flow stays attached you'll see that with the smoke flow done a lot of work along the bottom of the vehicle here this rocker panel is optimized to get the flow past the rear tire but it's also styled well and we feel that it, we, we work a lot with program to make sure that you're not going to bump your leg on the on the sill getting in so there's a lot of work we do with program to make sure that the customer is pleased with the overall vehicle Proportion-wise, we've done a lot of work to, to thin up the back of the vehicle to make sure that that flow goes back and makes as small of a turbulence or wake zone as possible. And I'll show you guys that. You can see the flow stay attached right back here, but you can still see a little bit of the turbulence back in there. Okay? So let me go fire up the smoke rig for us. 
And again, um, the yellow line is going to be where the wind clicks off. It's not going to bowl you over or anything, but it, uh, if you have badges on or something like that, they'll get whipped around a little bit. If you want to come up and feel the wind, feel free. Once it gets up to speed here, I'll just... It is a little chilly. I will say that. <laughs> so. All right, so this is our smoke machine. And basically all this does is the smoke just travels wherever the wind goes, basically, okay? And you can obviously see now the wind is coming in. So what I'm going to do is just kind of, I'm just going to show you how the wind generally goes in right there. And I'm going to put that smoke right over the car. And you can see how that smoke goes right over the car, stays right down close to the rear end of the vehicle, and really exits the back of the vehicle nice and cleanly. And that continues all the way around the vehicle, past the mirrors, okay? And you can see in particular how that flow, I got a great view of it here. I'm not, I hope you guys can see it. But in terms of how that flow really sticks to the back of the vehicle, bends around the back of the vehicle, minimizes that wake structure. Little items that we put on the car that you may not know about, these little tire spoilers down here. The flow comes in, hits those, it's guided around the tires more effectively, and basically it reduces the drag and improves fuel economy. Okay? Now I mentioned the turbulence behind the mirror. You can see that now. You can see how that flow is very turbulent behind the mirror happens on every car go ahead and try it when you go home tonight the object is to make that as minimal as possible and we've spent a lot of time making sure that those mirrors are well optimized again I kind of mess up the flow because I'm standing here but the flow going down the side really stays attached to the car bends along with the sheet metal and then the objective there I'm going to show you guys the the wake behind the car you can see it now this is the turbulent zone behind the car the flow really comes cleanly off the deck lid, stays nicely attached to that edge, very crisp. And what that does for us is that minimizes the amount of drag, the amount of turbulence behind the car. That improves the drag, decreases the drag, improves the fuel economy, okay? Those are some of the things that we've done in the 2013 Fusion to improve the fuel economy. 